This episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Moo Investing app. Use the link pinned to the top comment and in the description to get up to 16 free stocks. There's no need to delay. Start your journey today. But we got to talk about another stock family, and I'm talking about Palantir. And I got a question for you. Tell me yes or no in the comments. Do you own Palantir stock? So after you give me that, tell me yes or no, do you own it? Then tell me what stock you would like me to go and run a technicals on because you know we've been getting so busy. And I want to give a shout out to all of the multiple thousand new viewers and new subscribers who just recently joined and a major shout out to my ogs who rolling back in hit the like button let's try to get this video to 500 likes let's get it so now palantir is right now 15 dollars and 32 cents it's down 10 percent in the last week remember stocks aren't supposed to fall like this your portfolio shouldn't fall like this when they are great excellent company you shouldn't see things like this outside of crazy news catalyst but i'm gonna update you on exactly what's going on here to see how i see this remember this is not apple this is not an etf i'm not telling you to buy hold or sell i'm here to give you the facts that'll break your mother back now let's talk about it i talked about this on june 4th when this was about 14 dollars and i said you know what you can see those lines over there if you zoom in or take a screenshot or whatever you got to do is so you can go see it or you can go watch the video yourself it's titled she was dead wrong i was talking about how you know what this could hit 18 dollars if we break out of this channel that we're trading in and now palatair is back inside of that channel so over here you can see those two red bars they're parallel lines we're back in that similar channel where we're either going to head down or head up once we break through it and there's money to be made on either direction. Again, if you don't know how to do stock options or you don't know how to trade or balance your portfolio appropriately, come and join the Discord. I have the link in the description as well. And join KG's University for the Gifted. I'll see you over there. Now, I want to say this. I had a target on it for $18. July 18th, it hit $17.97. Not quite 18, right? But almost. July 19th, ooh, boom, hit the target. $18.48. Now, once you hit the target, you want to reassess and see, okay, where are the supports, where are the resistances, and what's causing it to move like this. So let's get into it first. What's causing it to move like this? Let's take a look. There are news articles coming out, and this is one that's from today at 10.15 a.m. Eastern time, family. And they said, and they try to keep it vague, right? This company is quickly becoming a leader in AI. And it's not NVIDIA, it's not Alphabet, aka Google, it's not Microsoft. So what is it? And they're saying it's Palantir after they released their new artificial intelligence utilization platform. Oh, this got a pump from the artificial intelligence wave that you've been hearing a lot about. So let's see who feels this way. Who feels like this was one to get into? Now, it's the big dogs. They said that five investors, and this is from Investor Place, betting big on Palantir. So, okay, I wonder who they are, and I wonder how we know this. And then I see something right here that you may not have seen. 13F filing. Bam, did that 13F filing, you know what that's specifically about? What they bought last quarter, not what they're buying today. So when you see what they bought last quarter, this is telling you what they felt then. And now you can see it because they filed this 13F filing. So now let's see who it is. Vanguard, the second largest asset manager in the world. $2.6 billion they put on Palantir. But not today. They did that months ago. You got BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world. I'm talking about BlackRock owns everything. And BlackRock and Vanguard, they really own everything together. They just put $1.5 billion on it. You got Peter Thiel, who they're saying is an investing guru, blah, blah, blah. $1.3 billion. The big dogs are putting money on this. So when you see Palantir pumping up to all of these different levels, you say, hmm, now we can see. And I was telling you this. When you look at Palantir, you want to ask yourself, is it a trade or is it an investment? When people are making money on plays, they get caught up in their chest and they think to themselves, man, I like this stock a lot because I'm making money on it. Do you like it because it's a good company or do you like it because you're making money on it or do you understand what's going on there? You got to make sure that you totally understand the play, family. Now, when I look to see if something is a great long-term hold as it currently stands, I look at the money that they're bringing in, aka their revenue. How do we look at this number and compare it to others in the industry? We can look at the price to sales, aka PS. Now, when you see this, you may not understand it fully right now, but I want you to just take your time and understand. 
if you want to buy something low, buying it for eight is better than buying it for 16, right? In the industry, when you compare apples to apples, not apples to oranges, because when you try to compare Palantir stock to NVIDIA, to Microsoft, to Google, anything, right? They all got different stock prices. So we don't really, mm, can't really tell necessarily. When you look at what they earn compared to their price, now you're comparing apples to apples. And the whole industry that's working on AI, similar to Palantir, their revenue that they earned in the year, multiplied by eight, only eight, is going to give you their market cap. To get the revenue that Palantir brought in all the way up to their market cap, you have to multiply that by 16 family. That means that this company is almost double overvalued compared to its sector that it is in. What does this tell me? That Palantir is trash? No, it tells me that Palantir is a trade and Vanguard, BlackRock and Peter Thiel are making it a trade. Again, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, right? Nobody's trying to get sued, but this is what they're showing me. So then I want to go and I want to look at the price targets. What are they saying it might go to? Now, the median, they're saying it's going to 15, which you can see right here, which they're saying it's actually already hit where it was going to go, according to Wall Street, right? Wall Street will never keep it all the way real with you. You got to do the research on your own. Seven on the low and 25 on the high. Family, this is looking like a trade to me. So a trade is something that I want to, I have money. I'm willing to trade it for the stock or trade it for the option. Wait for it to go up in value and then sell it and get more money than I put in. That's what a trade is, right? So now let's look at the technicals together. Currently, again, Palantir is $15. And I put this here because I want you to take a screenshot of it yourself so you can see it. So the upside and the downside all at once. And how I told you, we are back trading in a channel. Two parallel blue lines right here. A resistance level at the top, a support level on the bottom. I'm going to keep the technical so simple for you so you can understand it. Even a nine-year-old can understand it. $15 is the support. $16 is the resistance. If we break above 16 and then we start to stay above 16 and you see it won't go back under 16, the charts, not me, the charts are telling us that it is likely to go to 18. And then we can see the charts win again. They've been winning all year. What about if it falls under 15 and we see it like 1480, 1490, and then it's under this blue line and having trouble getting back into that zone. Oh, it's likely to head to 13 and we can make some money on the way down, baby. But you got to learn how to do it. Go ahead and join the discord. It's $10 a month. Somebody was just telling me today after they just got in recently, they said, Keenan, I feel like what you're offering is worth hundreds of dollars in value. And I've already spent hundreds of dollars and got less. So I want to say, you know what, family? I appreciate you for that. So if you're joining, you're going to get the stock options classes, the charts classes. You're going to see me trading live stream so you can see that we are who we say we are over here. And you're going to be able to have access to all of the bots and everything we got. So I see you over there, but remember this if nothing else. I'm the coach. All I can do is write up the play. But you got to run the ball. I see you in the next one and take care.